What is up guys? It's your boy Overdue Adam here. Playing some free for all BO2, you already know. Um I hope you guys had a good um New Year's and um hopefully you guys are staying safe and I'm recording it tonight so hopefully nobody got injured or driving drunk or anything like that. So hopefully everybody did good today. And um <coughs> Yeah, guys. Um, basically, uh, a lot of people have been asking me what am I, what are my um goals for 2016, and I'm gonna give out a list. I'm probably gonna just give you guys three because that's pretty much the only things that I've been worrying about and uh, what I want to like really accomplish this year. Um, so yeah, let's start with number one. Number one is definitely a relationship, <laughs> guys. I've been consistently, consistently. Throwing away girls because I just don't like them. Sometimes they're gold diggers, and a lot of them are guys. Like the girls that I talked to, I had like four or five girls that I've talked to, and then I had to talk, talk, stop talking to them. I can't even speak to them. Stop talking to them because they just want me to fix everything for them. And if you guys don't know me, I'm really good with uh, fixing shit, fabricating, welding, you know, fat, like carpentry, all that shit. That's basically who I am. I'm not fucking smart. I ain't, you know, amazing, you know, smart. I'm just good with f fixing things and using my head. Common sense kind of shit. And basically every fucking time I talk to these, some of these girls, it's just me f having to go to their house and fix shit. And that's, I don't want a relationship like that. I want a relationship that I can have a conversation with the girl, you know, trust her, you know, shit like that. Not, I have to fix shit for her so that I can keep her, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want that. I want something that we can actually have a good relationship by talking and all that other shit. So basically, that's basically what I've been running into is just girls that are just gold diggers. And I'm talking to one right now. I'm trying to give her a chance. Um, might go on a date with her. I don't know yet. And if it works out, it works out. Maybe I'll put her in some of my videos. Um, but she's really short. I don't know what it's like. I don't know, guys. Girls that are short... It just I like girls that are short. I don't know why. That's just how I am. I don't know. Now that's one thing, and I don't judge girls by what they look like, or now if they're butt ass ache and like ugly, they don't shave. They like they don't shave their legs or they don't, you know, shower or whatever. Yeah, then that's the kind of girl I don't want to date. But you know, if you're like fat or you know. You you got a crooked eye or something like that, you know, I don't judge you by that. Now, if you have a stupid personality and you look ugly, X off my damn list. <laughs> Simple fucking thing. But, you know, I don't judge girls like that. I don't take them out like that real quick off my list because of how they look. And a lot of guys actually just go for girls now that have, that have big tits and big ass or whatever. In the future, their relationship's not going to be good. Um... I'm looking for a relationship that could basically last, and that's what a lot. Of, that's what I tell all of these fucking kids. It, whenever you look for a relationship, don't look at the ass and tits. Look at their fucking personality, the, the way they act around you. You know, look for that kind of shit that you can relate to. And another thing, guys, what I'm looking for um, for 2016 is a um, probably I really want to get sponsored by um, a welding company. I don't know what kind of company I want to get sponsored by. Like, Miller would be go-to. Like, if I could get sponsored by Miller, that would be amazing. Like, but I know they wouldn't do that because, you know, I have 160-something subscribers, and I barely get 30 views. The most I ever got on a consistent video basis was 70 views. That's it. I don't think Miller would sponsor me for 70 views. Now, if I had 20k or something like that, hell yeah, they would sponsor me. Probably. Because there's not a whole lot of welders anymore. 
But yeah, that that would probably be my dream sponsor is Miller, and then because if I could get a discount code for like some of their tools or whatever, and then whenever I go out and put it out on my video, I can help. Like whenever I do tips and tricks, I could like be like, okay, well here's this part. This can help you in um, doing this tip or whatever. Like if I'm doing a MIG welding video and then I want to sell MIG pliers for that video, I would do it. Because it, that I know Miller is a great company, and I know I could trust their product. So yeah, I would love to be sponsored by them and show their product, show what um, how good they are, you know. Because in the end, I'm trying to help other welders out, so then they can have a good start in the like in the community we are in, and then they can start good, and then I don't have to fucking fix bad welds consistently because people don't know how to weld anymore but yeah basically that's what I would love to get the sponsored by a big welding company and it don't have to be Miller I mean if, if I don't get me wrong guys if it if it's a shit ass company I'm definitely not getting sponsored by them I want a company that I can trust and I know that their product is good I'm not gonna be sponsored by like um, you know, like uh, jet welds, um, welding rod or whatever. It's a shit rod, guys. Let me tell you, it's like it's stupid how fucking retarded that rod is for welding. But jet weld, I would, I would never get sponsored. Like if they gave me a good pay to sponsor their fucking rod and put it in the videos or whatever, I wouldn't do it. Would not do it. I'm not gonna get sponsored by something that I know is bad just to get money off of it. Not gonna happen. Alright, so another thing, guys, I really want to get in 2016 is a house and a truck, a new truck. Yes, I'm trying to uh, upgrade my truck and um, pro possibly putting a welder in the back, maybe so then I can uh, do, like, off whenever I'm off uh, the normal job I'm on right now, I could do extra work welding wise. You know, I could do that. Uh, that would be amazing. And truck-wise, I really would like a 350 Ford diesel crew cab. You know, um, you know that that would basically be my dream truck. But I'm starting to go through like, like I've been having a Chevy for about five or six years. And guys, I've never ran into a big problem with a Chevy ever. And I'm, I'm, I feel so sickening of saying that. I, no, I'm not saying that I hate Chevy. I love Chevy and I love Ford. But I think Chevy is kind of going on top of Ford right now. And I might buy a Chevy instead of the 350 Ford. I'm thinking about it, guys. Now that I'm just thinking. I'm trying to compare trucks so then I can make the best choice for what I'm doing. Now, and another thing I really want to get is a house my own house you know where I can pay my own bills pay my shit you know my house what I could call mine that's basically what I want this the last thing I want is a house because if I can have a house that means I can get the best internet the best quality videos the best content for you guys that is what I want to upload on a consistent basis if, if I can upload 1080 ping that would be amazing. But right now, you guys already know, this internet sucks ass. It's disgusting. The internet here sucks. So if I can get a house, I can definitely upgrade my system. Like, my like welding videos, my gaming videos, my tips and tricks. Shit like that. That would be amazing. I would love that. So that's why I'm trying to save up to basically buy a house and have enough money so then I know I'm covered if something happens to my truck or somebody bombs my house or something like that I know I'm covered that's why I'm saving as much money as I possibly can because if I can do that free for all I'll be set now if I get a kid at this age right now I'll be fucked all my dreams will go down the damn drain so that's why wear a condom kids sponsored by balloons Wrap it on for t 50 cents. Or, I don't even know how much balloons are, like four 14 cents or something like that. Yeah, don't use a balloon because you definitely have a kid. Because, guys, 
in the south, and if you guys don't live in the south, basically, it, like, probably 60% of my friends now have kids, and they're about 20, and that's the sad part. We're getting married, one of the two, and I'm just, like, single, sitting, working my ass off, and just saving my money. Knowing that, okay, now these guys are fucked, because now they're gonna have to pay for their kids' college, pay for their kids' high school, books, trips, all that other shit. And, I'm gonna be fucking sitting pretty. So yeah, guys, do not consider getting married at a young, young age, because those bills will raise as high as fuck. Now, if you really do love her and you want to keep her in her life, that that's a totally different story. You know, you definitely want to do that, but consider trying to push it back. I've always told my friends, have you guys considered of like maybe doing that in a couple of years? And oh no, man, we want to get it done real quick so then we know that you know it's gonna last. You know. There's no point in doing that. $10,000 out of the damn pocket. So yeah, guys. Basically, that's what I'm looking for for um, 2016. And those are my goals. And if I can hit them all, that would be amazing. I Like, I would literally be the happiest man in the world. If I could get sponsored, have a house, have my truck that I want, have my welding um, equipment on there, all that other shit, you know, and a girl that I can trust, that would be amazing. That would be a life that I would, I would love to have and I'm talking to this girl right now and I think I pretty much covered the diet in the video but hopefully this works out with her and me I don't know be advised hostile UAV incoming and um we'll see how that goes so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I might put a clip in the end uh, it might be a leftover it might be a trick shot I don't know yet we'll see if I hit one that is a good trick shot today, I'll put it in the end, or I'll just put one of the old leftovers I hit a couple days ago. One of the two. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, follow my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good jazz will be linked down below in the description, and I'll see y'all lighter. Peace. Oh, yeah. Incoming. Yeah.